Alright boys and girls, I just saw the series finale of Smallville this morning. Kinda hard to believe that Smallville's been on the year for 10 years, and it's just now finally coming to its conclusion. The finale was mixed to positive for me. It's, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag, let me try to explain. Now this is excluding the very ending of the episode, which was, I'll talk about it later. It's really just overall as an episode. As an episode, it's not really like an episode. It has a lot of heartwarming moments uh, between the parents and Clark and Lois and Clark, but it just didn't really have that episode feel. Uh, a lot of things were concluded poorly, if that makes any sense. A big portion of the series season has been building up the fact that Ollie has this Omega symbol and he's one of the bad guys he's being controlled or something and well basically that conclusion is done in like five minutes and then we have Godfrey the granny chick and some other guy who are complete assholes throughout this season and then Ollie just shoots him with a bow and arrow and they're gone it just all kind of seemed like this entire season was built up so people could just die in five seconds it just feel like feels like it was really rushed so basically everything connected to this season was basically executed and you know just basically finished poorly but as an overall series conclusion to the series it uh did pretty good justice to that i think an example of this is the return of lex luther and michael rosenbaum which was done great, and I wasn't disappointed at all that he didn't really do anything. He just kind of just talked to Clark and, you know, whatever. Just the fact that he was back for that one episode was more than enough that I could have asked for, and that was great, because it's basically to show that, you know, he's not going to do anything now, but in the future they'll have their, you know, great adventures. Every scene he was in was fantastic, except for his last scene, which was the biggest cop-out in television history, where Tess drops a little bit of blood on him, and then he forgets everything that happened prior, which is basically like an F you to the character. I understand it's supposed to line up with this comic book counterpart who doesn't know Clark Kent is Superman, but who cares? Like, why would you do that? That's just ridiculous. So this is where the episode has this mixed bag, and it's where it's very up in the air. I don't know exactly how I feel about it. However, right here, up to this point, it doesn't matter. This is what seals the deal. This is the icing on the cake this makes the episode right here without this this episode would have been garbage ever since i started watching the show i always speculated how would clark fly when he would you know what when would he put the suit on and it, it seemed like it would come to the end and i was definitely happy with that and how they put it together i think they did it near perfect it was pretty spectacular And recently people have been complaining that the dark side fight was really a lame, quick, easy fight. And while I will agree, we didn't come here to see dark side get his ass kicked. Ever since the first episode, we've been wanting to see Clark fly and be Superman. So having dark side being wiped out in one second isn't that bad considering the fact that we weren't hoping for that all this time. And what they gave us with that, boy, they gave us some pretty sick ass scenes. Watching Clark fly, save the plane, all those certain things, I feel like I was watching a movie. These last scenes were better than Superman Returns altogether. It was just, it was just a spectacular moment, and uh, it, it felt really good. And and this is definitely one of the best series finales, uh, series endings. You know, these last minutes was was just so. It basically summed up the entire show what it was for. You know, it it really showed that the show had a direction and it went to it. And in no way it felt out of place or out of touch or cop out the fact that Clark is now Superman. The, the step felt completely organic and natural. Overall, the episode is mixed. Um, it didn't really feel like a last episode except for those last moments, but it has a great conclusion and a best possible ending to it. And it's going to be sad that it's gone. In a way, I just kind of want it like, okay, let's continue it. Just make a new show called Metropolis, get the cast back and just I have a Superman show, why not? Pretty good conclusion, last 30 minutes or so, executed greatly, ended perfectly, so I guess I give it a 8? 8 out of 10? Yeah, that seems about right. So yeah, Superman.